before that, I have a Christmas message that I would like to share with you. As I have done at numerous times in the past, this is not a message of my own writing, but whenever I take a message that's not my own, I'm sure to give credit to the person who has written this message. This is part of our classic sermon series, where we find out about preachers who have gone on before and whose words are still with us and can be a great encouragement to us as the Word of God is evergreen and the messages that God has given through those who have taught are still very powerful in this present time as the gospel never wears out. And so tonight I'd like to share with you a message from a man whose name was Christmas. Christmas Evans was born on Christmas Day in 1766. His father was a poor cobbler in South Wales, and he had a tough childhood because his father died when he was only nine years old, and he went to live with a family member who did not educate him or care for him. As a teen, therefore, he ran with a pretty rough crowd, and he barely escaped death several times. In 1783, being unlearned and unable to read or write, <coughs> Christmas Evans accepted Christ as his Savior. He taught himself to read and write and became, according to Charles Spurgeon, the John Bunyan of Wales. In 1787, he was attacked by some of his former friends and lost one of his eyes. At first, he preached itinerantly, walking as much as 20 miles on a Sunday to reach his preaching engagements. Evans taught himself Greek and Hebrew and preached in his native Welsh and in English. He became immersed in theology and took sound biblical positions on the questions of his day. His sermons stand as some of the greatest ever. They are organized and structured, 